Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain you what causes this high crypto market volatility. I will explain you what is leverage futures contracts trading. I will also explain what is liquidation, what is long and short squeeze. This all is going to help us to better understand how crypto market works and we will be able to use this knowledge to our advantage and to make profits. So let's get started. Now let's explain what is leverage trading. Let's suppose that you have your initial investment of $500 and you will use leverage which is 100. So from your initial investment $500 using this 100 leverage you will get your investment up to $50,000. This is your trading power now after using this 100 leverage. So this tool, this leverage is widely offered by many exchanges including FTX and Binance. And uh, this is what many inexperienced investors do using leverage because that way of course, you can get much, much higher profits using this leverage, but you will also get in the risk of losing all your initial investment because that potential loss is also much, much higher than it would be if you only used your $500 investment. So your initial deposit is called margin and you are using borrowed money from the exchange to increase your buying power. Now let's explain what is long and short position. When trading future contracts, you basically make a contract with the exchange about the future price of Bitcoin or any other currency. When you open a long position, you buy the cryptocurrency at certain price and you are hoping the price will increase. And once the price increases, you will sell the cryptocurrency in profit and you have made a nice profit. However, when you open a short position, that means that you sell Bitcoin or any other currency at certain price level and you are hoping that the price of such a cryptocurrency will decrease. And once that decrease happens, you buy the cryptocurrency back and you have made the profit. This is the ideal world and this is how investors opening long position or short position make money. And for those future contracts trading, they usually use very, very high leverage to make as much uh, profit as possible. Now let's explain how liquidation works. As an example, let's take a long position. So let's suppose that your own investment is ten dollars then you will use 100 leverage and your trading power is now 100 times bigger which is one thousand dollars so you open long position you are hoping the price of bitcoin will increase and you will purchase the bitcoin when the price is fifty thousand dollars per bitcoin and as I said, you are hoping the price will go up. However, the price of Bitcoin drops and only slightly by 1%. So now one Bitcoin is worth of $49,500. Now what happens? Since your own investment in this trade is only $10, which is only 1%, from your trading power which is $1,000 and the Bitcoin price dropped by 1% from $50,000 to $49,500 the value of your own Bitcoin in this long position has dropped from $1,000 to $990 so this is the moment you have lost all your own money in this position, which was only $10. Now, at this moment, the value of your Bitcoin has dropped under the critical level 
and you are in the position only with the money that you have borrowed from the exchange. So now your long position gets automatically liquidated. You automatically sell Bitcoin for this current price, which is $990. You have lost your own initial deposit, which was $10. And the rest, which is $990 is returned to the exchange so now you are left with no money that you had in the beginning of this trade and uh, basically you have lost 100 percent of your capital but if you did not use this leverage 100 times leverage and bitcoin price dropped only by one percent as was the case in this example you would still have bitcoin worth of nine dollars and 90 cents why because you didn't use any leverage because the value of your bitcoin which was ten dollars only dropped by one percent so it only dropped to nine dollars and 90 cents and what does it mean for the whole crypto market it means that many of those bitcoin dumps that we have experienced in march 2020 last year or this year in may or even a few days ago on September 7th are caused by huge liquidations of many long positions of inexperienced uh, retail investors like the one that I have showed you here. This whole liquidation process has a huge implications for the whole crypto market and as I am going to show you now it is very important to understand what happens during these times of liquidations on crypto market so that we can be ready for that so who usually gets liquidated usually those new inexperienced investors in crypto markets these are the ones that get liquidated they open long position when the market pumps hoping that the bitcoin will keep pumping but the market does exactly the opposite the market dumps and this is when the long positions of these inexperienced investors get liquidated. So people or retail investors with small accounts get liquidated. No whales, they do not need to use the leverage. They do not need to borrow the funds from the exchange. These retail investors, the new investors in crypto market, they are not usually aware of the risks which these leverages bring. They are also not aware of uh, how crypto market work. They are not aware of those manipulations caused by whales and by institutions. They just want to make a huge profit as soon as possible. And uh, therefore they use very high leverage up to 100, hoping that this is the way how to make huge profit as soon as possible. Once these inexperienced investors get liquidated, very often they decide to leave crypto market for some time. This is what we are experiencing right now, I think. I believe that after that huge dump of Bitcoin in May this year, many retail investors who lost their capital, they have left crypto market and they have not come back so far and when many many liquidations happen in a short period of time this is when the whole crypto market crashes as an example we can use the crash in may this year when more than 775,000 traders had their account liquidated and up to 8.6 billion of dollars in crypto was liquidated the most recent dump in Bitcoin price happened a few days ago in September this year, September 7th. Up to 3.5 billion worth of crypto has been liquidated and up to 330,000 traders, mostly inexperienced retail traders, were liquidated. Now I'm going to show you these major bitcoin crashes on bitcoin usdt charts let's have a look at how the 
crypto market looked like at these moments. So what is typical for the crashes caused by liquidations is that these crashes happen very rapidly, very quickly, within several hours. This particular crash is from March last year, so-called COVID crash, and we can see that the price dropped from $8,000 at the time up to $300 and $700. Usually these crashes caused by liquidations are also followed by at least partial quick recovery. In this particular case, we can see there is this week up to $3,700 and then the recovery was up to $5,200. This is because such a low price is not natural for the market. So many whales, many institutions, and I would also say that many experienced retail traders, they found this price, $3,700 per Bitcoin, very attractive, very interesting, and they have purchased Bitcoin immediately which caused the price to pump back up to 5,000. So again, this is very typical for crashes caused by liquidations. Probably the biggest example of Bitcoin crash caused by long positions liquidations happened this year in May, and it was really huge. The price of Bitcoin dropped from 64,000 up to $30,000 per one Bitcoin. This chart shows Bitcoin USDT chart uh, four hours candles. And again, there is this quick recovery from $30,000 per Bitcoin up to $37,500. Again, such a low price per Bitcoin was not natural for Bitcoin market. The most recent Bitcoin dump happened a few days ago on September 7th when Bitcoin dropped from 52,000 up to 42,000. As it is usually the case, it was followed by quick recovery from 42.8 thousand to 46.6 thousand because again the whales and experienced traders took advantage and they have started accumulating Bitcoin. So as these three examples clearly show us, the high volatility of Bitcoin is for the most part caused by enormous amount of liquidations. And those liquidations happen because retail investors use very high leverages and then they get liquidated. To wrap up this video, let's highlight some key characteristics of liquidations which cause major crypto market crashes. So when long positions are being liquidated, it's called long squeeze. And when short positions are liquidated, it's called short squeeze. What happens is in general, experienced investors or whales get money from those inexperienced investors. By using very high leverage, those inexperienced traders make crypto for themselves even more volatile to squeeze those long positions, those investors who opened long positions, the whales dump the price. They sell the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin price drops. That way, the long positions get squeezed and they get liquidated. When long position gets liquidated, whoever opened this long position has to sell at market price and that initiates even more price dump. When short position gets liquidated, whoever opened that short position has to buy at the market price and that initiates even higher price pump. Long or short squeeze usually happens within several hours and they are very noticeable on the price chart. These squeezes usually don't happen on other markets such as stock, forex or commodity markets. When such a squeeze happens on one exchange, it gradually spreads to all other exchanges. Now for the whale 
it doesn't really take much to dump the whole crypto market to ignite that cascading liquidation impact and of course they manipulate the market because they want to get cheaper bitcoin it is believed that in order to liquidate long positions which are open on the bitcoin market it is necessary to sell for example on binance about 10000 bitcoins and on kraken exchange it is way less something uh, between 1000 and 500 to 2000 bitcoins is necessary to sell to dump on kraken to make a significant price dump these leverages and these liquidations of long or short positions are for the most part what causes high volatility of crypto markets up until recently that futures contracts trading was highly unregulated but it seems as it is changing now so usually that big crash is followed by partial recovery those big dumps in march 2020 may this year and a few days ago in september 7th these dumps were greatly caused by futures trading after the crash in may this year exchanges like binance and ftx they have started implementing changes for using leverage for futures trading and they have lowered the maximum leverage from 100 times to 20 times this way bitcoin and other crypto assets might become less volatile long term bitcoin holders are usually not those who get liquidated the opposite they accumulate bitcoin in those dips and can major dumps be predicted i believe that we can at least get some hints that the major bitcoin dump might be close based on on-chain data analysis and also based on excessively positive sentiment of crypto market also that greed and fear index might be very helpful to predict some incoming bitcoin dump so let's be careful when sentiment is too positive we should proceed with extreme caution and now what i find the most important advice is that when it seems like the whole crypto market is ending when bitcoin is crashing this is when the best buying opportunities arise and we should always have some stable coins ready to buy the dip so that's it for this whole video about liquidation, leverage trading and about major Bitcoin dumps. Thank you very much for watching. I'm hoping this video has been helpful for you and see you next time. Bye bye.